Hello the folks, it is TIJ Gaming. Welcome back to Conquering the Euro Save with Everton on Football Manager 2021. Today is part 6 of Season 9 and it is a huge episode today. Not only for the league, but firstly for the Carabao Cup. Beat Man United and we go through to the final. Again, potentially another trophy we haven't won yet at Everton. And then we have a big one against Chelsea at the BMD Stadium. And if we go and beat Chelsea, we're going to be at least 6 points clear of um, our nearest opponent in the league, at least. And, of course, that could be bigger if Man United lose their match as well. As you can see, we've been a really good run. We're five points clear at the top of the league. We have <clears throat> kept that momentum going. We've had a few draws, albeit, but other sides have dropped points as well. Big game that kicked off last weekend between Chelsea and Man United, and Chelsea managed to win that one, hence why the points gap is now five points. But, of course, later on today, we've got a game against Chelsea, the only game this season in the Premier League we've lost. So... The return fixture that was, of course, away at Stamford Bridge. But as you can see, we've been unbeaten all throughout this period. Um, we went to beat Man City 4-2. We've had we've had a lot of wins, fairly comfortable victories. Uh, we drew against Leicester in the Premier League and drew against Tottenham, which wasn't terrible away from home. You're going to drop the odd point, but some really encouraging results at home. 4-1 against Sheffield United, 5-0 against Newcastle. And we also beat Brighton 5-1 in the Cup. We um, hosted Villa in the fourth round and beat them 2-0. And we've now got Barnsley in the fifth round of the Cup. And obviously we're looking to retain that FA Cup. So we're still competing on four fronts at the end of January. That's going to be uh, fun. But let's see if that ends today. In the uh, away leg, of course, which I didn't show you on camera, the first leg of this semi-final, we won it 1-0. So I think away goals do count before 90 minutes here. So if we keep a clean sheet, we know we're through. But that's going to be tricky to keep Man United out. They're not on a great run of form, as I've alluded to, as you can see. No winning free. Had a fairly patchy January, apart from that 6-1 against Burnley and a convincing 3-0 against Leicester. They've not been convincing at all. Again, a fourth away game in a row. Could that make a difference? Um, let's see. No transfers made, though, in January, so it's still the same consistent side. Um, I've just realised we've got uh, our League Cup goalkeeper in the net, but I want to change it to Costa. I want to put Costa in the net for this one. It's a big match against Man United. In fact, did Costa play against United in the, in the uh, first leg? He did. So, okay. okay, we'll play him again here. So, Diego Costa plays in goal with Livramento, Godfrey, Almeida and Larios at the back. It's the same team. That's why we've been so good this year. It's been so consistent. Haven't had many injuries, to be fair. Uh, one change comes with Lewis Bates in the midfield rather than Messina. Messina has got a suspension for this match. Then we've got Salkin, Sierra and Sotar in the attacking midfield. Benito, I mean, again, still a little bit injured. Hasn't played for a while now, but hopefully he'll start to come back in the next few matches. And, of course... The prolific Robin Vandenberg up front. So, really good stuff. Haven't lost for a while now. <clears throat> if we go and lose 1 0 today, then we get to extra time. Six charges to their lineup, but I guess that doesn't really mean anything. That was in the FA Cup last time out. But I expect the lads to come back after this match as finalists. Again, in the Cup, I'm not re I wasn't really too bothered, you know, before this. But it's a big match. It's against Man United. We've got to respect our opponents, put out the best team possible. And I think we've got an international break coming up, so that gives us a bit of an excuse, I guess, to <clears throat> play some of the stronger players here, and then we can rest them, of course, over that two-week break. But a big match this. We've got the lead of 1-0, but you can very easily get to 2-0 Man United very quickly here, of course. The away goal effectively counted for two for us, but if United get one or two here, then um, we could be in trouble. But Rashford, with an early chance, puts it into the, the, uh, the box, and nothing really coming of that. Deem, Dixon, Satona gets the ball back, of course, for Man United player. Almeida, Larios, Almeida. Uh, Jurgen Klopp wants to sign Almeida. Almeida um, suitors for Arsenal, apparently, so that's an interesting one. But if he does go, they'll need to give him a good whack, it's fair to say. They're, they're on about offering £50 million. If they want to come with an offer, feel free. I think I'll reject it, though. I don't want to have any big challenge to this side to risk us losing the Premier League at this point. But five points clear. It's nothing at all, really. And if you think about it, what's amazing, we got what? I think we got 72 points last year. We're 15, 14 games to go, sorry. We're um, only, I think, 14 or 15 points shy of doing that. So you can just see how far we've come. If we keep going as we are, we could be on the, the best part of 90 points come the end of the season. So that could be really impressive. As I've been talking, though, we've took the lead here at the BMD Stadium, courtesy of Sierra. So this is really good stuff. Oh, Sierra... Nearly makes it 2 0. It's been a one man show so far, hasn't it? With Hamilton Sierra providing some real good theatrics. And by that, I don't mean jumping over in the box. 
If he wants to get us a penalty by that, then then by all means do it. But Man United are still in this game. It's by no means over. But can Vandenberg make it sooner? It's one-on-one, -on -one really. Um, but Luke Matthews saves it. He was going to struggle to do it there. Yes, he was technically one-on-one. -on -one. Really awkward angle, though. He did a lot of good work. Godfrey with the header. But again, Luke Matthews stops it. We're doing well here. We're um, asking a lot of questions of the Man United defence. And... Man United, not the force that they were last season, I think it's fair to say. I'm going to really shoot myself in the foot now because they're going to go and score five or six or something. But there was a time where I really worried about Man United and they were really threatening and they would just be all over us, sort of 70% possession. But it's just not like that anymore. And I think you would argue at the moment that we are the best side in this league. The, the league table doesn't lie and uh, we are playing some good football. Again, that match against Chelsea is huge. Go and win that. And we've got a really good gap again. Man United might not win their match at the weekend. So we could be talking about a really good gap in the league. We've got to go and play Man United in a few weeks anyway in the league. Win the Chelsea match, win the United match. And we're on our way uh, to getting Everton a Premier League title. But very good start uh, in the first half. Man United not really offered too much. To be fair, they've had more possession. Their XG's been uh, fairly level par with us. Not massive differences between the two teams. But your XG can be great. It's all about whether you take your chances. And uh, unfortunately, Diago Almeida didn't there. Maybe Jurgen Klopp will be put off him now after that dreadful shot. But to be fair, he's not in the team uh, for his attacking work. Of course, he's a, he's a centre-back. So he's in the team for his defensive um, play. Now, I'll, 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 I'll really admit here that I thought this game would have been a bit, bit more exciting. To be truthful, it hasn't been so far. We've had the odd highlight. Uh, we're 1-0 up. It's not been the most fantastic match ever, but... I don't care if it's dull for this one, really. And the same goes for the Chelsea match. As long as we win it at this point, we're having a lot of sort of 1-0s, 2-0s at the moment. Nothing too flashy, but it's just getting us over the line, and that's all that matters. And Bates, oh, I'll tell you what, the defender did very well there. Calafiori, the keeper, Luke Matthews, stopped Lewis Bates' few first attempt, but couldn't get back up quick enough. But his defender there um, doing a really good job. So Man United need two goals in 15 minutes to stay in the cup. Tottenham will be the opponents in the final. They beat Leicester over two legs uh, yesterday. So let's see. Can we finish off the tie? Robin van der Boer with a chance. He shoots, but it's way just up against the side netting. Ten minutes to go. We're going to make a few subs here. We've got a few tied faces. So we're going to bring um, Hamilton Sierra off. He's had a brilliant day. And Kenneth Taylor also looks particularly knackered. So we're going to bring Scott West on for him. Again, we've got some good depth, to be fair, in our side, which is really pleasing. Even if United score one now, of course, we've scored two. So away goals or anything won't matter. It's only if they go and score two in the next five minutes, which, believe me, I have seen before. But a very drab game. I apologise for that. But despite having 45% of possession, we've done really well. And we're in the final of the League Cup. Excellent stuff. Man United just didn't really offer much. Two clean sheets. Um, I'm absolutely chuffed with that. And we'll be playing the final on camera, of course. Chelsea won their game in hand against West Ham. Uh, they were playing tonight in the Premier League. So they're three points behind us. So this match now against them becomes absolutely crucial. We're going to be top of the league whatever happens. And then let, Well, <laughs> if they beat us 4-0, they're going to be top. But let's see what happens. Hopefully not. We're in good form. Um, we're into the the EFL Cup final. Just having a look at when that's going to be played. Is that going to be on here yet? Uh, 2nd of March. Okay, interesting. So we'll come back for that. We'll figure something out. But, uh, yeah, the cup final and great stuff. But now the focus turns, for a few games at least, the Premier League. And we've got three games in a row, three big games as well. Chelsea, West Ham and Man United, all at home, all at the BND Stadium. Win the three of those and we'll go a long way towards winning the Premier League. And, of course, lose and we've got a battle on our hands to keep that top place. Well, we're looking good at the moment. And for a few matches, we've made the top of the Premier League our own. But are we about to get rocked? by Chelsea. Of course, we lost 6-0 to them earlier on in the year. It's our only loss of the Premier League season so far. Are we going to lose today at the BMD Stadium? I'm, I have to admit, I'm a bit fearful about this one, but let's see how it goes. We're playing our normal side. Um, just the one change. Messina is back today. Obviously, he's not suspended for the Premier League. We've got a few tired defenders, but personally, I think we have to play them and probably sacrifice them for the West Ham game. But this is huge. This is massive. Again, it's, it's all about that six-point swing, isn't it? If we lose this match, then Chelsea are the team with the momentum. If we win this, then uh, it puts a real dent in Chelsea's ambitions. Puts us six points clear of them. And, uh, again, gives us a real good, a real good chance to win this Premier League title. I mean, win this... 
beat West Ham and beat Man United, as I said, and I think that title's pretty much secured. As you can see, 14 games to go. We are top of the league. Um, three points clear of Chelsea, five points clear of Man United. Leeds United, who was second at Christmas, have definitely dropped off. And uh, we've obviously been top since then, till the end of January. We're now in February. Is February going to bring um, a difference for us? So we're already going to stay as we were. Again, I, I'm a bit worried about this. You can probably hear that in my voice. But let's see. We, we might just surprise ourselves. We've been beating pretty much everybody else. So let's see if we can go beat Chelsea. Kenneth Taylor out to Larios. Can we get an early goal to um, lessen the nerves? And we can. Ryan Hill puts it over the goalkeeper. A shocking bit of goalkeeping there. Um, I forgot to say actually that Ryan Hill is in the side today. He replaces Salkin who's injured. He's got a bit of a niggle coming into this game. And Ryan Hill, to be fair, when he's played, played very well. He um, played for us against the Villa in the Cup and got two goals. And seven goals for the season. He's certainly a good backup option for Harrison Salkin. His star rating is actually better than Salkin. But Salkin's got that experience and it makes sense, of course, to play him. As you can see, it's the early game. Nobody else has played yet. So we'll keep an eye on as well on how Man United and Leeds get on because if Man United lose their game as well then uh, it puts us with a real good gap to United but of course it's not all over yet yes we've took the lead but of course that means nothing until the final whistle but he got, got a chance to make it 2-0 here and we have wowzers uh, Chelsea not looking great defensively I have to say but we're looking great and uh, this is excellent really is these have been the sort of games where we've struggled. They have been since we've come into Everton, really. We've, we've generally speaking, in most seasons, beaten the sides we should be beating. That could have very easily been a red card for Tamori if he hadn't have uh, timed that one well. But he gives away a goal, nevertheless. We've never been able to beat the big sides, or at least consistently beat them. But this season, it looks like things are going to change. We, we've lost once against Chelsea, and... Last year, um, we watched Man United pretty, pretty much win every match. They couldn't really be caught. And to be honest, that's exactly what we're trying to do now. We've, we've had a few draws, sure, but 60 points from, 20, um, from 25 games. It's title winning form. And if we can beat Chelsea today, we put them back with 40 minutes to go. Uh, we're looking okay here. They've had a lot more possession than us. I noticed this against Man United, but possession clearly isn't everything. It's now 3 0. Wowzers. Wow, wow, wow. It's enough winning with 42% of possession, but being 3 0 up just really shows we're making the most of it. Nice assist there from uh, Ryan Hill. Livermento made it happen first off. It's a nice, nice header from Ryan Hill and good footwork there by Robin Vandenberg. And my God, when you are winning by this amount, you make the game look bloody easy. It's amazing that. I'm um, going to make a substitution though here. Deji Satona's a bit tired, so we're going to bring Benito Owen in for half an hour. We're also going to bring on Axel Tuanzebay for uh, Valentino Livramento again. Tough period of games, this. I think we had eight games in January and only four in Feb. So things are going to calm down a bit at least for a month. So um, after this game and the West Ham game, hopefully the lads will get a bit of a rest. Lovely ball from Larios to Sierra. Again, <laughs> I'm being very fearful here just because of how we lost against them last time and because I know of how horrible FM can be sometimes. It's not over at 3-0. It really isn't. They can still bring this back to 3 each. I'll bring you back to that Man United match where it was 2-0 um, to us with 40 minutes to go. Wow. Been on the pitch two minutes. We knew it was a bit short of match fitness and sure, but after two minutes getting injured? I mean, how unlucky is that? So we're going to have to bring him off for Lorenzo. I'm hoping that we don't get another injury or a sending off, God forbid, because we've used all our free substitutions. But need to Owen, it's not going to be his season, is it? Uh, that could be him out for a few months. But he's gone off straight away after coming on. That uh, looks pretty worrying. But I'll tell you what, I don't know why I bothered coming back today. It's going to be easy pickings. We've beaten Chelsea. It looks like it's going to be a clean sheet as well. So everything ticked off. Amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I'm just astounded because we've worked so hard to do things right with Everton and, and do it well that when it is, it almost seems like it's crazy. It really is. He's out for five weeks, which isn't too bad. Um, got a few niggles again. Our players do need a rest. We have got a week now at least until the West Ham game. We haven't had a week between games since the back end of December. So that's going to be a big advantage for us. Then we've got a two-week break. And then we've got a very busy March as well. So this isn't going to particularly stop for us. But what a result that is. Um, Man United playing at 3 o'clock. They're not. 
They are playing. Do, 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 do. When are they playing? Have I missed them? Oh, they got Watford at half five. So um, I'll just take a quick break and then we'll see how Man United get on and uh, see how we look at the end of the episode. Well, Man United and Leeds both won their game, so the big loser today was most certainly Chelsea. Um, we're five points clear, though, of Man United. That's a really strong position to be in. Of course, we've got them in a few weeks' time. The problem is, when do we come back? There are some really good claims to be made to come back for any of these next five games, really. So I think we're probably going to come back for... Uh, do we do a free game special? I think probably what we do... Um, we play the Man United game, because that could be massive. It really could. If we win that, then we go... You'd hope eight points clear and uh, things start to become really good for us. I think we'll come back for that and then the FA Cup, for the, sorry, the EFL Cup final. Um, we'll play the Champions League match off camera and then come back for the second leg um, on camera in the episode after that. But there's just so many good matches to juggle at the moment, which shows how well we are playing. But uh, really good stuff. So we're going to play the game against West Ham off camera and then come back next time for the massive match, which could just um, put our signature really on the Premier League. I really do think so. Um, you know, we're five points clear of United. Uh, go and win our next two matches. We'll be eight points clear of them. Six points clear of Chelsea. I appreciate it's it's not all over at that. But if you look at the matches afterwards, um, we most certainly could lose to Leeds. Again, that's a very tempting match to come back for. But apart from that, if we keep up the former in, I can't see another loss in there. And even if we've got two losses, for example, if we drop nine points... I can't see Chelsea having a particularly perfect end to the season. So we're in prime position. Just want to make sure that we keep it going. And uh, there's what, what's that? 13 more games. 39 more points available. We could get 99 points at the end of the year. I really don't think it's going to work out like that. But uh, if we can get 80 plus, then we've got a good chance of winning the league. And that's going to, what, seven wins out of 13? We should be able to do that. And, uh, well, we'll try and win every game we're in. And fingers crossed... We can lift that elusive Premier League title to finally, after nine seasons, get the first in the three we want for conquering the Euro. But thank you for your company today, folks. Always appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed that. Comment your thoughts down below as well. And subscribe for regular Football Manager 2021 content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.